another episode of Mark Talks Football, and today we're carrying on with that Reading update. And in today's episode, after the brilliant performance we did against Chelsea and Borussia Dortmund, we have got two league games here today. We've got Leicester City and we've got Manchester City in today's episode. One team is sitting fifth, the other was sitting second, and we are sitting top of the pile at this precise moment. With that being said, we have played one game since the last time you saw us. So let's go and have a look at that. So the last game we played uh, was against Bristol City. Complete rotation of the team. And Jose Maria Diaz got two goals. Now I'm telling you, he is a player who I'm looking at who's going to be absolutely phenomenal for us. With that being said, he's starting today against Leicester. Um... I'm taking um, Alvarez out and I'm putting him in. Because every time Diaz starts or comes on, he does something. Uh, and Alvarez has been a bit hit or miss here this, so far this season. So we're going to see what they can do today. We also use the 4 2 3 1 that I, we used at the end of the Borussia Dortmund game. And it worked quite well. The goal we conceded was a penalty, and it was a penalty. Um, but. Open play, we dominated possession, we dominated everything else. So we do know that if things push comes to shove and this formation stops doing what it needs to do, we have a backup for when we need it to in certain games. But we're playing Leicester, who are under the management of Liam Manning. So it's all about us today, whether we can squash the Leicester City rise and push on with our rise here today. But as you can see, this will make us have two games in hand over Manchester City. And if we win this, we could possibly go nine points clear at the top. Let's see if we can do that here today. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're in. And, they're, and we're 1-0 down after six minutes. Not a great start to the game for us so far. Leicester have come out all guns blazing. Chelsea are currently playing Manchester City and are beating them 1-0. Still have two games in hand over us. We have to find a way back into this. Let's go attacking. Trying to get the players going. Bristol City, Norwich, not a forest. Are down in the bottom three. Great tackle there. Can we win this ball back? No, they've gone through again. They're in and it's 2-0. We're 2-0 down in a game where I feel like we have to win. Okay. Alright, let's we're gonna change things up at half time. Right, let's change things up, make a couple of changes, bring Alvarez on for Cunha, who isn't playing well, and then we're bringing Mbugay on because we will have that extra, extra long throws that he'll be able to give us, another sort of set piece, but not only that, he can play central defensive midfielder as well. It's all about them trying to get into this game now. 
get a foothold into this and do something a bit different? Or have we left this a little bit too late and Leicester have come out and just done the marvel? Haaland is injured. Thank God. Okay. That's four changes we've made so far. Right, goal kick here now for Leicester. They're going to try and play it out. And they've done really well to get through. But Mbugay does well to get it back. Gomez, here we go. This is our chance now to get a goal. We have to get a goal here. Alvarez. It's not good enough. Back to the keeper. In Okada. Oh. Gomez again gets intercepted. That final pass is just not happening, is it? Around here. I think we've left this a little bit too late now to get into this. Just not good enough today. I was really thinking about what went on. And we've now got to go up against Manchester City. And we could have put ourselves... We have not helped ourselves there at all. Could have got a bit of a gap. But in the end, just was not good enough at all. Leicester now move up to third. It's been a goal drought. Oh, that's not you. Right, we'll go to Manchester City now. Right, here we go. Manchester City, second in the league. We are first. We need to win this. We can't be going two losses in a row. It's going to do my nothing. We're going to carry on with the 4-3-3. Three, three. The 4 2 three, one didn't do much than what I wanted it to. Um, and it is um, slightly annoying me. Here we go. Why is my phone going absolutely nuts? There we go. Right, can we do this? We need this. We have to do this. Let's make sure we can. Edison with a good save there. So if we win this, we'll be on 30. If I'm right. Which will mean 
that Manchester City, who have two games in hand over us, will need eight points. And then you've got Leicester, who are three games behind us, with nine points, can go level with us. Same with... Uh, no, Leicester will be joint top with us if they win all the games that they've got in hand. We have to... Do something in this match. Here we go. Can we get back into it? <coughs> Excuse me. No, oh, not girls, not food. Come on, man. Fucking defend. It's an own goal as well. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Bury it there. Oh, nice. That was nice. Nice. I don't know how many times I can say nice. Why was no one picking them up? They were all in the wall. Right, going into half time, exactly what we needed. We've got the possession, we've got the shots, we just need to finish them off. Three thousand city fans here out of the thirty six thousand fans in the stadium. Do we change formation to try and get into it? I think we're gonna have to. Not yet. Don't want to take Sam Yu off yet. He's sort of slowed down on his scoring. And as we saw last time, that he's got a goal drought. I didn't think he did, to be fair. It is slightly irritating how sometimes we're reliant on one person to score the goals. Okay, nothing's changed. Let's try that. We've got to try something. This draw will mean that if City win both of their games in hand, they will go level on points with us. Diaz does well. Oh. In my personal save... I've I'm I've done like I'm like a going around doing stuff, and I was Monaco manager for a little while, and Ramos was the PSG striker and fucking scored against me every time. Bradley needs to keep that in, and he does. Crosses it in, Edison comes out. Fuck's sake, we're all back in their positions. We are going long now. Gets it down. Rodri, Ruben, Diaz. Great interception by Bradley. Gets it to Okada. Come on, this is our time. Cross it in. Clears it out, but Mbugay is there. Goes down the wing. Cross it. Sam, yeah! Yes! Come on, we've got a few more minutes to leave it out. But Sam... <sighs> might have got the goal. Oh, thank God. I needed. We needed that. Arnie Slot is a thorn in my side, especially when he was Aston Villa manager and we've done it. Fucking done it. Beautiful. Beautiful.
Samu gets that goal from his drought that he's been looking for. And then Bouge most probably could be starting soon. And that 4-2-3-1 might be starting the next game. We might keep rotating that just to make things a little bit more interesting. But with that, with love, with care, Mane's been marked. You guys have been amazing. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for more Reading FC save and more videos coming your way. And in this, I don't even know where we are. Where are we? Episode 86. So this next episode is the last one of the week for the Reading, eight, uh, for the Reading save. So to finish it off, we're going to be playing Angus SC and we're going to be playing Brighton. So we're in love with Ken Manners. You've been amazing, Abbott. <laughs>